Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the JS. Whether you can use it in your Angular project or React project, it's basically how to restrict before and after decibel points. So you can add in number of things, right? Currently I am using, you can see that here, I am just restrict with the three digits and the last one is two digits, right? Whether you want to restrict to the four digits, five digits, before and after, it's up to you, right? So we have come with a new video, okay? So one, uh, my two subscribers asking about this, how to restrict the before decimal points and after. So I come up with the before and after decimal points. So whenever you have a requirement like this, you can add this one, okay? Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have restricted up to the three decimal points before and after two decimal points, right? So let's take up the look of the logic. So logic is very easy. So let's go to that one. So here before decimal, after decimal, I have fixed. Okay, I can make it two also. Okay, so if I go and make it two, if I go and reload this one, <coughs> okay, and if I go and one, two, you can see that after two, it's not working. And if I point two and then two decimal points, okay, whatever I can add it over here, here, it's not taking up, right? You can see it's move up. So up to the two decimals, it's it's you can just change the numerical value over it, right? So it's whatever the ID we have, we have taken out the input. The main function is this is the replace function, right? This is the before the before decimals. This is for the after decimals. This is the regex expression that can be used to implement this logic function, right? So I hope you, uh, if you want that code, I will, I can also send the code, right? So any doubt in that, any issue in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. One more thing that I forgot that is called the input, which I am show you. This is the input field. Okay. Here we have, whenever we have an on click, on type, whatever, you can just use this one and this function will go to the, this part <coughs> and validate that one. Okay. Any doubt, any query, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.